So today I'm making something called paleo cornbread. I really like cornbread and I miss it, so I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, so you're going to need four eggs at room temperature. I just leave them sit out for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, then one cup of water, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, half a cup of coconut flour, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, uh, one quarter cup of, they recommend coconut oil. If you're paleo, that's what you'd want to use. I'm just going to use um, olive oil. So you need a quarter cup plus a little extra just to grease the pan. One quarter teaspoon of a rough ground sea salt. One teaspoon of caraway seeds ground. I'm just going to use a spice grinder for that. And a half a teaspoon of baking soda. You're also going to need a loaf pan. I'm using one standard size loaf pan. The recipe calls for two smaller ones, so you just may have to adjust your baking time accordingly depending which one you use. Okay, now this is all made in the blender. So I've got my blender out and I've also got my oven preheating. You'll want it at 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. So I've already added my eggs to the blender. The next step is we'll add in the water. The apple cider vinegar, which again was two tablespoons. And then the oil. Now if you're using melted coconut oil, make sure it's totally cool before you add it in. You don't want it to cook your eggs. But I'm going to use oil. A quarter cup would be the same as four tablespoons. We'll just blend that on low for 30 seconds. Now we're going to add our half cup of coconut flour, half teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, the teaspoon of the ground caraway seed, and your half teaspoon of baking soda. We'll just cover that and blend it again for about a minute this time. Okay, so now as I said, I'm using a silicone baking pan here. If you're using metal pans, you'd want to probably grease them first, so use an extra teaspoon of your oil just to grease the pans if necessary. Now we'll just go ahead and pour into the pan. So now we're just going to pop that in our preheated oven for about 40 to 45 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean when you insert it in the center. In 40 minutes. I'm just going to take a toothpick into the center there. It's dry. It's done. Now I'm just going to leave that cool for just a few minutes before I try and remove it from the pan. Here it is. It's been cooling for just a few minutes and as you can see because I used silicone it came out pretty nice. Still quite warm. It's a very dense texture but yet it's soft and spongy. It doesn't feel dense or anything. What I mean is it's not like a light and airy look to it. You can see it's very compacted looking. Okay, so I've just got some butter on here and I'm going to give it a try. So it really doesn't have the texture of cornbread or the flavor of cornbread. I don't know exactly why they called it that. It does have a little bit of a rye bread flavor to it because of the caraway seed. So if you don't like rye bread, you might want to leave that out or reduce it. Uh, it's very nice. It doesn't necessarily taste like cornbread to me, but I like it. Give it a try and see what you think.